Hi everyone, welcome to your virtual tour of campus. I'm excited to show you around. Follow me. So, this is reception. This is Adia. She's one of our receptionists. She'll be happy to help you with any questions you may have. This way. This is our print center. Here we have a lovely print center helper. You'll be able to print anything you need for classes here. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to ask. Through this door is student services. Student services is here to help you with registration, adding and dropping classes, and anything else you may need. We also have a career center here, which is usually open during the school year. And around that corner is the bursar, where you'll pay for anything extra. Follow me this way. This is our main entrance. For you as a student, you get into this door with your student card that you can pick up at Student Services. For me as an employee, it's a fingerprint. So this is our main entrance. And this is actually a student lounge. You can hang out here in between classes, meet up for study groups, or just see who's around. You'll follow me this way, we have another student lounge. This one's great to use in between classes because there's a charging center right here, and because there are lots of classrooms directly off. You'll follow me, this is one of our bigger classrooms. And back out here, I'll be happy to show you another. Now all of these classrooms start with the number 2 because we're on the second floor. So if you have a class in 205, 206, 204, that's these classrooms. Here we have another student lounge, and directly opposite this student lounge is the staircase behind you. At the top of that staircase is our study abroad office, in case you're interested in studying abroad. Yet another student lounge. Notable here is our bulletin boards. On this one here on the left, you'll find information about internships, job opportunities, roommates available, and here you'll find information about clubs and cool events on campus. This is our Dean's Hallway. Our Deans are always in their offices ready to help you with anything you need relating to classes. So if you'll follow me, this is Humanities and Social Sciences. This is International Relations and Diplomacy. This is our Business Department. This is Journalism, Media, and Visual Arts. Our Law Offices are upstairs. And this is the Dean of Students' Office. She's here to help you with anything student life related. On this side of the hallway are classrooms. These classrooms start with the number 3, so if you have 310, 311, 312, that's these. Behind me, you'll see the President's office. You'll most likely not need to talk to him, but if you do, he also has an open door policy. Now, if you'll follow me this way, students are actually not allowed in this section of the building, but you're special today, so come on. Now I'm going to show you a really exciting room. This room behind me is our biggest room, and we like to have conferences in here where you can win some cool stuff. A girl won an iPhone in here once. Make sure you always know what's happening in this room. Follow me. So this is our student courtyard. Please do note, this building is actually a kindergarten. Please don't wander in there. Directly across, we have classrooms. This one with the closed doors is the visual arts study space. The rest are normal classrooms. They actually used to be the garages for carriages back when this was a palace. Follow me and I'll take you to our student cafe. So this is our student cafe. 
You'll notice it is priced for student budgets, and you can actually work here as a student. You'll have to talk to Bill if you want that. Yeah. Follow me back out this way. Now in this courtyard, we do often have some cool events for all incoming freshmen, like barbecues, Halloween parties, sometimes events to buy new clothes, so make sure you're always aware. Through these doors, we do have a student lounge, yet another one. This one's cool though, I'll let you discover it on your own. Now, this is the door to some additional classrooms and to our computer lab. There are a couple of classrooms at the top that are mostly used for things like business and law, so if you're looking for your classroom and you're unsure of where it is, good chance it's through this door. This is our park. Now, we don't actually own this park. It is a public park. It's rumored it's the oldest park in all of Prague. It is a hotly historically debated rumor, though, so maybe do some research on your own to see. It's also full of peacocks, so it's worth exploring. Now I'm going to take you to our library. We actually have the largest collection of English books in the entire Czech Republic, so we have to do it in a different building. So if you'll follow me down the street, okay? Keep up! This is where our library is located. Now we don't own this entire building, as you just saw. There's actually a cafe on the bottom floor that's separate from us, but all of our students do get a 20% discount. Now on the top floor of this building, we have an academic tutoring center, we have a psychological counseling center that each student gets three free sessions per semester in, and we have additional classrooms. We also have additional classrooms on the second floor, but that is primarily where our library is located. Follow me, I'll show you around. There are classrooms here, as well as behind, and the library is this direction. Hi, Zuzka. Yes. This is our library. This is Zuzka. She's our head librarian. Extremely helpful, so she's always here to help with anything you need. She also has some really nice leaflets of information. In order to graduate with us, you'll have to write a thesis, so you can find examples of theses here. And if you'll follow me, I'll show you our textbooks. So, our textbooks are located all around this room. They're all free, they're rentals. However, a lot of our materials are found online. So, always make sure you consult the list to make sure if we have your textbook or not. I also invite you, when you're in here, to take a look at the ceilings. They're all original, hand-painted. It's a lovely environment. If you'll follow me this way. As you enter each room, you're going to see additional materials. They start on the left and wrap around, and they're all sorted according to the Dewey Decimal System. If you don't understand the Dewey Decimal System, no worries, neither does anyone else. That's what the librarians are here for. Here we have our silent study room. If you're the type of person who needs a really nice, quiet environment in which to study, this is the room for you. We have comfy chairs, we have a lot of different resources, and at night we even sometimes have events in here like poetry readings. It's definitely worth knowing what's happening in the library. I hope you enjoyed this very brief tour. This concludes our campus tour. As you know, we have a small campus and a small student body. I look forward to meeting you in person, and if there's anything you've missed, feel free to watch it again. Goodbye. <laughs>